Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, and I was, to be honest, I was very busy with preparing for a video, and that is this video. So, in this video, I'm going to show you what I've done in the past few weeks, and actually years, um, and also, I'm also going to show you some, uh, some footage of what I just did and the results and maybe also the future so this project is not about well this is a project this is not a build but this is a project a complete um, like family of vehicles so it all started like a year ago or something when this map right here was added and not only that but also containers and barrels and barrels um, c can be explosive or just non-explosive and containers are just containers they are they exist so my first creation around containers was this and it was pretty good at them at that time it could um, hold on let me put this down a bit it could, um, oh my god, it's still very loud. I'm just gonna turn it off. At the uh, at that time, it was very, very good, actually. It, it's still kind of okay. It can, um, it can carry up to two containers. And it uses this claw over here to grab them. And uh, way at the back over here, I can't remember which button it was to fold up the things, the, these flaps. So let me sh do show control, maybe I can, I, okay, L, P, G, ah, there it is, G. So that holds the containers together uh, uh, on, top of, uh, on top of each other. And yeah, I was really proud of it. And to be honest, after that, I just forgot about container. Well, of course, I didn't forget about them, but I just let it let it go, and I just went on with other projects, such as. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of this map. For example, the the submarine, which I actually never showed, or. Um, this plane, which I think I made a video on, I'm not sure. I am... Oh, look, here it is. So after that, I made this plane. And some other stuff. And a few... Like a month ago or something. I No, not a month ago. Like, maybe five months ago or something. I made this plane, which was kind of a, a very bold move of me, uh, of me, of mine. And it's the same thing as this. It can carry, uh, it can carry two, um, two containers, and I did that with these magnets. And that was this was made, um, made very short after the release of the magnet. Um, update and again I was really happy and really I was really happy surprised and proud of myself that I can uh, that I could achieve this um, because at that moment I didn't know if anyone was able to do this as well and as you can see I've got some bracing because at that time um, big vehicles would not support their uh, themselves so these supports were needed so after that i just put that aside and a few weeks ago i was like well okay let's i've made all of these vehicles and let's see and i never do anything with them so let's see what i made a few like in the past and see if i can do something with it so i found this and i thought two containers huh i can improve that so I went and removed all of them, apparently, I removed all of the magnets. 
so let's forget about that one so the third so I increased it to a maximum of three containers as you can see one two and three and I was really stunned and really surprised again that this was able to fly and I was like you know what hold on let me see you know what I've got some more complexity over, uh, left I can increase this again I can make this even bigger so I did I made I made this one which was a very bold move of my of me because I didn't go from four, uh, from three to four no one straight to five As you can see one over here one over there there and there and there and again this flew pretty well and I'll show you um, my second to last version just fly without any containers or whatever um, because that takes a really long time and I don't have that time right now and I was really proud of that and uh, this was done in like three days or something from this to, to this is this a fourth fifth I think so this was with five and I think the fifth wasn't much different so one two three four five yeah, okay this wasn't much different just a bit more spacing between the containers so it was easier for me to fly it and I was done with that and I th like a few well maybe two weeks ago or something not sure what I, I forgot all the um, all the dates but I thought you know I learned about redundancy and efficiency lately and then I looked at these wings and I was like this is just useless same goes for the uh, the leading edge that's all just useless that's just wasted um, wasted blocks I could better remove all of this get a better efficient a more efficient wing and maybe if I just keep the length add some more engines maybe I can even maybe I'll have enough uh, to increase this again and then I was like well, wait what I can wait I can just increase this in length but this also seems a bit redundant all of this aerodynamics at that at that point at that scale aerodynamics was um, wasn't a problem at that point so I was like you know should I keep this and I was like no let's remove it so what then just put a seat on it yes and because aerodynamics wasn't a problem at that scale I was like well I actually say uh, I was like a lot so let's stop that and I thought well if aerodynamics isn't a problem let's go big or let's go home so I made this and it can carry uh, it can carry eight containers and this was this took a really long time to perfect and still not even perfect and as you can see there are some blocks uh, which I had planned for a uh, fifth and a tenth container but at the end I stopped with that so as you can see I made a very uh, more efficient wing more um, just more efficient uh, when looking at the complexity limit so a minimum of wedge blocks and a very low amount of um, hinges because they cost a lot and yeah also very uh, minimalistic landing gear and I was really proud of that and again I was just over the moon when when I saw this thing fly and again 
I looked at the complexity limit and was like, and I, I just, I just couldn't help myself to think I can do way, way better than this. So I got, I just went and looked. Okay, what is necessary for this plane to fly? Wings and a huge long fuselage, fuselage which is flat and mag well not magnets but that's for the uh, for the load but just these these blocks and wings and very little engines when comparing this to the whole plane and I will and I just I just made it as good as I could get at least that's what I thought at that moment so I made this a triple lined plane and to this point on, this is technically second to best, second to largest uh, container plane. I've got a way bigger one, uh, which is not in this file in this uh, map yet. So, and this can carry up to 12 containers with just a, a bit uh, bigger wings, relocated wheels for better ground, um, better ground movement. But for the rest, it's kind of the same. I got rid of this uh, um, on, on the leading edge of the wing. There was a an a, a how do you say that a um, a wedge block, a, a very big uh, wedge over here, which I removed because it was redundant at this point. At this scale, aerodynamics is redundant. Is is not a problem and that's also why I got this and not didn't even think about using aerodynamics because at this point it's so big the aerodynamics has so little effect on the speed it's just worthless and uh, a waste of blocks to, to make it aerodynamic so that's why I didn't choose for aerodynamics and as I said, it could, it can still carry 12 containers. It works very well. Let me show you. Let's fly, let's fly away. It's a bit laggy, but, well not laggy, but just slow. But it has a lot of lift. Don't even have to pull up or it already lifts up. Lifts off, not lifts up. And it doesn't have any like movable landing gear, so even if I press G, nothing would do, nothing would work because nothing is linked to G. And I just have static landing gear. But as you can see, it has a lot of it ha it has lots of lift. And even with containers underneath it, it's. Cra the, the lift is crazy. I can barely even land on that carrier without using T which puts those flaps uh, up and makes the thing go down. I can even I can barely land. So with T and no thrust I can barely land. But that's this plane that and I thought that that was the end of this of that chapter of this plane and this project and it wasn't and it was also not the end of the line of vehicles that I made because of course when you have this huge this huge monstro monstrosity of a vehicle it is not very easy to collect and line up the uh, containers just with the plane itself so for that you need some kind of help and I made it I made help I made my own help I made my own helpers so what I did is I started off at the at the first plane I started off with this one and this was just a single row for a single container and I also used this so I can, so I could, this was just like a little tractor, so I could maneuver the plane without maneuvering the plane uh, by itself. So it was just like, like a little car, just like in real life with planes. But I scrapped that idea totally. 
So after that, I made this one for this plane. So I could um, carry two containers at the time and put them underneath it. I also made this one for, this one was for containers which were very close together. This one was for containers that was a, were a bit, uh, were, 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 which was, which, this one uh, was made for containers where there was a little gap in between. So I can just drive in, in between them, hook them on and drive towards the plane. That was good and all, and I was still using this one, or this one, can't remember, when I got this one. And of course, because this is three wide instead of two wide, I, need a, a, I needed a triple container crane, and I made, I made it, and it still works very good. I'm not going to show it, but it works perfectly. And as I said already, I thought that was the end of this chapter. And um, for for a few, for a few days it was until today where I made So basically, I'm an idiot. I'm a, I'm I'm a real idiot. You know, I'm I'm really I'm really stupid. I forgot to save that plane. I forgot to save it. Now this wouldn't be a problem if I were to be in the same map as I made this but I went to a different mod server but I closed the map that I made it in and went to a new one in a fresh one because there were containers everywhere and you can't reset them other than leaving the game and going back in Okay, so basically I had that, I had the triple plane, the triple, uh, this one, but instead of 12, it could carry, hold on, I think 24, yeah, 24, 24 containers, and trust me, to get to that point, I had to do a lot of removal. And to be honest, it didn't even fly properly. So, luckily, I did actually get a time lapse of that plane and also some footage of that plane flying. So, I'm gonna show you that right now. So, yeah, basically, I'm an idiot. So, yeah, go, um, go watch that. I hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, so hello everyone, welcome. Uh, after, I'm not sure if you've seen that whole um, uh, time lapse, but what I did is I extended the whole fuselage, uh, braced it over here, and deleted all of the side blocks on the side of the magnets, just to get as much um, building opportunity as I could get. And I just filled it up with, in total, 24 containers which is the most that I know of that a plane in Trail Makers can carry. So let's check it out and see if this works. So there are a few steps. And first off, I, can, I can't even get the whole thing in one frame. Yeah, almost. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so first step is left shift. What that does is it enables... I can't even show it. Hold on. Let's go into um, free cam. What it uh, does, it enables these fins to move as well in the opposite direction as the back fins over there. See? Those in the back move in the opposite direction of these to help get the nose up. So now it's on, now it's off. On, off. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on. Second step is to um, enable J, and what what that does is it puts those flaps down, which which creates more lift, which I of course need to take off. And of course, the other stuff is to accelerate with my engine. And of course, with the jets underneath, full power. And uh, yeah, f by, by the way, I can't save this. So if this fails, it fails horribly. And I wasted eh, around an hour of work to get this all set up. Well, the hour that hour is also with uh, the time lapse of, of the, the building time. Okay, something fell. It's also with the building time of this and um, with collecting all the crates, so I think around 30 minutes wasted if this fails. So, I need to be very, very, yeah, very quick. This this is a very tense moment, it, because if this works, I think I just set a record for biggest, first of all, this is the biggest plane I've ever seen in Trailmakers, and second of all, the biggest useful plane in Trail Makers. I know it flies um, without any uh, load, but I don't know how this flies with containers. Um, so yeah, let's just see how this functions. So, double checking. Left shift is on, J is on. Every wheel is down, so I can't really see. Let's check, okay. Put those up as well. Okay, here we go. This might be a bit loud. And something broke. It's lifting off. It's lifting off. No way. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nah. So, um... Yeah, I, uh... I kind of failed. Let's put those back. And, um. Okay, maybe I can save it. I'm not sure, but maybe I can save it. Maybe if I get a, some vehicles that are. Uh, water. Um. 
water worthy and air worthy at the same time and then VTOL mode okay so uh, I'll be back maybe when if this works so yeah if, if it works you'll see this thing flying and if it doesn't you'll see the probably the ending of the video so uh, yeah it all depends on this so I'll see you guys then okay 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 so I just attached and this is what I came up with and I'm not sure if this will work apparently not so It is Precon or whatever. I am not sure what to do. Go quickly, quickly. Again, over here. And then go backwards. Uh, I really hope this is going to be working, but it probably won't. This is going to be a very slow process of getting this out of here okay so now let's go to a very high altitude so i've so i can get enough time to jump out jump in the in the plane and fly back okay and there it i'm stuck i'm stuck There go 25 containers, and oh no, this is gonna, um, this is, this is definitely gonna crash the game. Whoa! Jesus. Those things went everywhere. Can't find any. Oh, there's an. Oh, there's another one. Already saw those two. No, that's about it. As far as I can see, at least. No, that 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 was it. Oh, there's another one. There's also one that there's also there also was one there also was one that went in in the water somewhere over there but there don't remember there's none over here nice oh well, um I think I think that's gonna be it for me for today so hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked the video please show me by hitting the like button which will notify me that you guys want to see more of this um, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more also hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on anything and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for me and yeah see you guys in the next video bye bye